Pisces. It's L here to do a reading for you. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what is going on. All right. Thank you, God, for blessing Pisces with a clear, concise message from you. So we've got child, occupation, and message. I'm, I'm seeing that somebody could be occupied with a small child. You know, just enjoying my baby, you know. Um, and then there's somebody who wants reconciliation. They see somebody working hard, you know, and they... Um, you want to reconcile with this person? It could be out of the blue. I'm really feeling like it's like maybe even a, a secret admirer. And this could even be somebody that you dealt with from your past. You, you have a significant past with them. Whatever this message is, it's good news. It comes in maybe seven days, seven hours. I'll give you as long as seven weeks. But this card says seven days. All right. One week. Um, somebody is weak for you or they, or they want you back or... There's somebody here who try, who's trying to make advances to get something going again, but I don't know. It could be failure. Like it's not, it's not taking off. You could feel like somebody is childish, too young, too inexperienced. Somebody could also just be okay. This could even be like online dating, um, secret admirer, or meeting someone new, a blind date. Let's see. Somebody's occupied with meeting someone new. Yeah, high priestess showing up. So, like, somebody seeing you as extremely desirable or vice versa. You see someone in this capacity. Could be you or Aquarius showing up. Or maybe even a Cancer with the high priestess. It just says that somebody is extremely, you know, almost irresistible, desirable. Whomever this is, they're looking at you and they're like, I want a piece of that. Okay? I need to get um, in that person's life right, like right now. Someone could be, you know, lusting for you, right? Um, you don't take this person serious. It's, it's, yeah, Ace of Wands showing up. It's like somebody wants to sleep with you really, really badly. If somebody's making advances at you or with, you know. I don't know if you're, you're taking to it. Somebody's up for the challenge, though. They're going to throw a lot of energy, effort. At you to get what they want from you. Whoa. Um, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So you don't see that somebody has longevity or staying power or there's nothing. You know, it's just nothing there. Yeah. The Hermit card. You're coming out of being in Hermit mode. Some of you are going back into maybe like the dating market. You getting back out there. Six of Swords moving on from. There's somebody here who wants to reconcile with you or you with them. Like, hey, let's go over the past, the past that we had together. What does it mean to you? Like, do you want to hook up? Do you want to? Yeah. Queen of Cups in reverse, though. Somebody's not listening to their intuition. Um, somebody's very free, okay? Because the Queen of Cups upright is very fixed, fixated, and kind of closed off. This person is very free. This person is, might even be a little bit um, clingy. Um codependent they they lack you know independence they don't they're unsure of themselves they haven't really found their niche they're all over the place yeah ace of pentacles in reverse whomever this is you're not giving them a time of day they do not have an opportunity with you you feel like they're too young page of wands too young too inexperienced wanting to just have like some whirlwind romance or wanting to just be a fantasy land or think that a relationship can just exist all solely off of romance and doing things. Yeah, four ones. It could be an upset household also. You could have, be dealing with a child um, who you just want them to grow, grow up, grow up. It's time for you to grow up. The death card of reverse is definitely somebody here who wants to rehash the past. One card of advice for Pisces here. They want to relive it. They want to come back to you. They don't want it to end. Someone's holding on for dear life. And it's because they don't see any other option. They have not made any other provision, any other way for themselves. You are the way. You are the light. Ooh. So you're somebody's God. Uh, you're their savior. Maybe you came in to save them at a, a rough time. Let's see. Uh, the star card. Yeah, so it's like you want to get out there. 
Um, you want to put yourself out there. This talks about re-entering or being the face of, you know, like maybe re-entering the dating scene, putting yourself out there, up for the challenge, up for the opportunities, accepting yourself, acceptance, healing, moving on, chakra alignment, letting go of the baggage from previous relationships, telling someone how you feel, expression, uh, compassion. Uh, this is directly related to the strength card which is Leo I don't know it's like maybe you're trying to let somebody down easy but you just don't want it yeah page of wands coming out again it's like you want to go in a different direction you know you want to explore something else um you can't explore what you already know right so it's definitely maybe you Pisces you, you want to explore somewhere else you want to date someone else you want to do something else um this is what I have for you um if it resonates let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section Go over to the website, book your own reading there. Readings are always on sale, 40% off. Use code 40 off at checkout. Uh, there is a, you can get 10 minutes with me for $35. I will link it below. Thank you if you take advantage of that. Um, Pisces, so it is the season for giving. So we have our annually, our annual um, holiday give back to the less fortunate. You can contribute via Amazon wish list or GoFundMe. The links are below. If you've never contributed to the channel, this is the time, you know, because 50 cent, a dollar, it goes to less fortunate and it goes from us to them. So not just from me to them, but from us. So go ahead and let the exchange of good energy happen. So go ahead and contribute. The links are below and above and everywhere. Um, I'm live every Tuesday, Thursday at yeah, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time where I do a collective reading. And then on Thursdays, I answer free questions. So come on down. Um, this is what I have for you. Many blessings to you. Oh, I'm doing my first meet and greet here in the metro Atlanta area. If you're in the state of Georgia and you want to meet me, um, go ahead and subscribe to my website, tarotofl.com, and you'll get the details of when and where. And come and meet me. It's completely free. Come shake hands, fellowship. Maybe even I'll do some small readings, mini readings. All right. So thank you. Many blessings to you. Bye.